Okay, we take all four sixes. Three, three. Let's come to a final stop. Right. We copy your will stop, and we'll take this yeah, out to you, Atlantis, as well as a thousand. Oh, uh, you're coming out of problem. Dr. Wiseman, what would happen if we fell into that black hole? Well, we'd be catastrophically crushed. Uh, a black hole is a region where space and time have been so distorted that actually the space inside that we would experience would be smaller and smaller and eventually and inevitably we'd be crushed to zero size. In fact, the very last instant physicists don't really understand because nothing can be zero size because quantum mechanics tells you nothing can be exactly zero size. How long would it take for us to be crushed to nothing? Well, that depends on the size of the black hole. If the black hole formed from the collapse of a star like the sun, um, it will probably take around a microsecond. However, there are very extreme black holes at the centers of galaxies, which are many, many millions of times the mass of the sun. These are much bigger. And for those, you could last a minute. The biggest ones, you could last a few hours. So you'd, you'd actually have some time to contemplate. It's probably the most uh, amazing show you can see, although you can't tell anyone about it. Could we give ourselves more time? Anything we could do? Fire a rocket? Well, that's interesting. Einstein says, no, there's an inevitable time at which you're crushed, but how you perceive the time to pass, how quickly, depends on your motion. And Einstein says, the more you try and accelerate, like struggling, the shorter you will perceive that time. So in fact, if we were to fall inside that black hole, the best thing we could do is turn off all our rocket engines, not move, and that will maximize the time we have. All right, so we'd have a bit of time, but can we get a message to someone? The whole point about a black hole is that the event horizon, this point of no return, is the point of no return for everything, including light. Nothing, according to Einstein, can travel faster than the speed of light. So if we were trying to send a signal, the best thing we could use is light. That's the, the, the thing that can escape from the strongest gravitational field possible. But at the event horizon, even light hasn't got sufficient speed to escape. What would people see as we were uh, falling towards our death? We wouldn't see anything special as we passed through the event horizon. But the people outside the black hole would see our time differently to the way we perceive it. They would actually see our time slow down as we got towards the event horizon. So they would never actually see us pass through the event horizon. They would see us slow down as we approached it, and time would slow and slow and slow until we were almost frozen at the event horizon. And in fact, what they would see is even slightly different. We're wearing these fantastic blue spacesuits. Um, but actually the light that they would see, this blue light, light has a little clock in its frequency. And in fact, this blue light that we're seeing as it goes from the horizon to the people far away, that clock would get slowed and the light wouldn't look blue anymore. It would look more and more red. And so these beautiful blue spacesuits would look redder and redder and redder until finally they weren't even visible to the eye. They would need to get out their infrared telescope and then eventually it would go even deeper into the red end of the spectrum through microwaves, radio, and they'd just lose sight of it.